Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make these lovely botanical style clay ornaments. If you enjoy the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Now enjoy. So I took some air dry clay. I just bought Crayola white air dry clay and I'm rolling it out to about, I'll say an eighth of an inch thick. And I wanted to just make sort of an oval ornament. So all three of these botanical style are about the same size. They're probably about three inches tall and two inches wide. And for the first ornament, I'm pressing in this piece of artificial pine. Of course, you could use real pine as well from a floral pick that I have just to get the impression of the needles. So I'm using the pencil to put a hole in the clay, which you don't want to forget to do, so that you can hang it as an ornament once it dries. So you can see I don't have a lot of clay tools at this point. I really just have a scraper, sort of palette knife type thing, improvising all my tools. So the second ornament, I'm using this berry pick to make an impression, and I just Put, in, put down three of the berries and a little bit of the stem. So for the last one, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna use this pine tree mold, you know, pushing the clay down into it really well, but then making the, the ornament shape a little bit bigger and above the mold itself. So it's going to basically be a Christmas tree shaped ornament and then flatten the back a little bit with my roller, my improvised roller again. Then I let the clay dry for about a day and now I'm going to paint it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just a sort of a primer coat of white. And I'm really going to I'm going to do two coats of white on each ornament. The air dry clay really seems to soak up the paint, which is why I did the I'm going to do two coats of the primer. So most of the paint I'm using is Shutter Art acrylic paint. I have the red, I have white, green, chocolate, and yellow ochre. I'm also going to use some folk art black. And I'm just going to paint all of the impressions sort of the way, hopefully, they look in nature. So the berries are going to be red, the trees will be green, the pine needles will be green, but I'm also going to use the browns to give them a little more definition. So when I was doing the green, as you can see that acrylic color green is very bright. So I mixed in a little bit of black. I'll say just, just enough to make it look more like a natural pine tree color. And once those colors were done, I added a little bit of the black also to the red to give a little more dimension to my berries. And I added the yellow ochre to all of the wood piece parts of it and a little bit on the green just to add some contrast and make it look more natural. And then I used a little bit of the bright green by itself as a sort of a top layer. And the last thing I did was add a little bit of white on the top of the Christmas tree or the pine tree so that it looked like it had been snowed on. So 
So these were pretty simple, but I think they turned out pretty nice and they were so easy to do. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.